for them. These guys love the Constitution so much they just can't wait to change it. So today it was Congressman Steve King's turn. Uh, he wants to get rid of this part of the Constitution. All persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof are citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside. Congressman King has introduced a bill to eliminate birthright citizenship, which, as you just heard, is a right guaranteed by the 14th Amendment. These guys keep telling us that we need to get back to the Constitution, but they're more than happy to change it at a whim to fit them. Joining me now is Congressman Luis Gutierrez of Illinois. Congressman, good to have you with us tonight. Is this just fraudulent? Your, your thoughts. Well, let me just give you my first thought. They're for the Constitution until they're against the Constitution. And you know, you would have thought they wait a week, two weeks after they read the Constitution before attacking one of the bedrock elements of the Constitution. Ed, it's your guarantee and my guarantee of a lack of government intrusion in one of our basic fundamental rights, and that's to our citizenship, um, to the fact that we're here. But you know, they don't really change because therefore, let me see, uh, little government when it comes to stopping the greed uh, and lining their pockets on Wall Street. But today, they're for big government when it comes to checking everybody's citizenship on that birth certificate. So I guess they're going to check every baby crib in America. That's the kind of government they want. And let's make it clear. Because I think I know a little bit about the Constitution. I don't know I can recite it all. But I remember one part about changing the Constitution, and that is that it takes two-thirds votes in the House and the Senate and three-fourths of the states. So you're right on point when you say, why are they doing it? It's for show. It's well, to show people. It's to it's attack kids and babies and to attack immigrants because they think that's good politics, not good public policy. Well, it clearly sets up the immigration debate, riles up the base, Plays, plays to the Tea Party crowd. So what's the pushback here other than to say they're a bunch of hypocrites? They're ne this is something that's never going to go through the Senate. They, right. they can vote on it on the House, but it also, again, sets up the narrative. All oh, the Democrats are the obstructionists. We're really trying to do immigration reform, but they won't let us. What do you think? And you, it, well, here's here. Look, we need comprehensive immigration reform. They should come to the table and let's get it done because we can secure our borders and make the American people safer. And you know what? I give a modicum of respect to all workers in the United States, all of those that work hard and sweat and toil in this country. But that's not what they want to do. They want to exploit the issue. They want to exploit bigotry and, and prejudice and to use those old tools. Look, remember, let me see, the Confederates uh, that were left over after the Civil War, they put special, special laws on African American and black slaves saying, but they said the 14th Amendment, and then the, the Chinese in the 1880, well, their children, the ones that came here to work and build our railroads, their kids don't, can't be citizens, and they did to those that we put in internment camps from Japanese during World War II, saying that those that were born there, there's always been, this is a recycle, right, Ed? It's yeah. recycling, hatred, and bigotry and prejudice once again. So you don't have to deal with the fundamental problems confronting the American people. How about job creation yeah. and getting people back to work so we don't have to hate. We can begin to heal our country and bring ourselves together. Congressman Luis Gutierrez, thanks for telling it like it is tonight. Thank Appreciate you. your time. Coming up, India.